Now, welcome back to Good Morning Vale. I am so excited because I have got the cast of Battle Mountain High School's The Crucible joining me here today, and it's just very exciting to see these young and energetic performers joining me here. Levi, how are you? Doing great <laughs> this morning. Thank you so well, much for having us. Excellent. So tell me about The Crucible, and tell me about your role working with the students. Sure. Uh, the Crucible is a story set in Salem, Massachusetts in the 1690s. Arthur Miller is the author of this play, and it follows the story of a small town there as they experience the witch trials. Um, and it's also an allegory for McCarthyism and the Red Scare that we experienced during the Cold War. So that's the, the briefest synopsis I can probably give of that. And my role, I'm one of three directors of The Crucible, um, and we have been splitting up responsibilities in terms of running rehearsals, um, which has been great because I used to be one of two, and so it has been a lot easier for me this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love this, and we've got the cast joining us. So is this the full cast that's here, or do we have a few more people? <laughs> no, no, not, not even close. We have 27 actors in the cast uh, in addition to eight students on crew. Um, so yeah, just a small fraction of the cast here this morning. Well, that's amazing. Well, I would love to hear from the cast. So I want to ask you who you are and who your characters are, so tell me a little bit about that. We'll start with you. My name is Jody Preza, um, and I play Giles Corey. Great. And who are you? My name is Willem Rower, and I play the role of John Proctor. Wonderful. My name is Silas Hefe, and I play the role of Reverend John Hale. Oh. My name is Bodie LaCrosse, and I play Deputy Governor Danforth. Sounds like you two have some very important roles. Everyone does, but <laughs> <laughs> tell me about it. I'm you. Phoenix Wellbaum, and I play Abigail Williams. Great. I'm Jenna Kisker, and I play one of the girls. Okay. My name is Gabriella Gallegos, and I play Rebecca Nurse. I'm Sophia Kluinder, and I play Ann Putnam. Awesome. Well, this is great to have you all here. I think it's, uh, it's very exciting what you're doing. So I would love to ask, who wants to share one of their favorite rehearsal stories so far? <laughs> we'll start with you. How about that? <laughs> I don't have one that comes to mind. So. Well, what's been your favorite part about being part of this production? I guess, like, being, like, a part of well, having more time with my friends and them supporting me, of course, because support really comes in a huge role once you, like, I mean, this is my first show after all. And, you know, that support kind of, like, it's nice to have it. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned this is your first show. So what, um, what are you most excited about coming up for the performance? Does that, somebody else want to take that question? <laughs> um, for me, probably just being able to run the whole thing and have it come together because one of my favorite parts about rehearsal in general is you start out with just so many disparate scenes, just completely disconnected. You have one bit here and one bit there and yada, yada, yada. And then within the last like week or two, it's finally able to come together. You're able to do full runs. And by now, I think it's really forming together and it's very, I guess, beautiful to see kind of what we've been able to create. I love that. I think it, this is just going to be so much fun to watch. Now, I would love to ask, what has been the most interesting piece of rehearsal? The, inter the most interesting piece of rehearsal? Let me think. It's probably discovering our characters um, and watching that development happen. So when we first get to rehearsal, you know, back in September, um, everyone's kind of not really sure where they want to go with things. And you know everyone as your friends, right? Um, you know their personality. Um, you know kind of how they act socially. And then as time goes on, you see them turn into someone else. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool to see. And there's a certain magic in the air that kind of appears in the last two weeks of the show, which is where we're at right now, right? Um, and it's just cool to go on stage and be able to look into their eyes and see that is a different person now. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, I, that's very impressive. You know, it is interesting to see your friends that you go to normal school and classes with every day, and then all of a sudden you're in this new imaginary space in this world, and you're bringing it to life for not only each other, but also for your audience. Now, ladies, I'm going to come over here to you. I would love to ask, what, what was the audition process like for you? Oh, wow. Um, it was really easy, honestly. These I've been to a lot of a lot of auditions in my time and my auditions at Battle Mountain are by far the most comfortable because they're just right there, you do your piece, you already know them and and it's it's obviously stressful but I mean I, I picked out a monologue, practiced it and you go up there and you just gotta give it and that's all you got because we didn't do callbacks for this one and it felt really comfortable and easy. That's great. 
Now, I'd love to ask you, how many years have you been part of the drama club and, and about the performing? So tell me a little bit about that. So this is my third year in theater. I usually just do the plays. Um, I'm not really a musical person. And the thing about the plays are it's really just such a great community of people together. I was a little worried going into this play because it's a lot more dramatic than what I've done in the past, but I felt really comfortable and I feel like I've gotten a lot better as an actress with it. That's great. Now, this play, The Crucible, it is, it's a very intense and, and interesting and serious play. Now, what would you say has been the most um, impactful moment throughout the play? Pass that to you. Um, just really trying to go into the world and seeing how different things were back then. Um, things were very dramatic in a lot of ways. Um, they leapt to a lot of extremes and stuff like that. So it's it's interesting to see how that corresponds into the play, for sure. Right. Now I have a question for you. What uh, what has been the piece of advice you would give to anybody else that wants to audition or to be part of of, of this theater group? I would say. Um, well, obviously, you would want to talk to Walker because he is one of the most supportive people in, like, in the. He's the director, one of well, one of them, um, and you just you kind of got to go for it because you get in the audition, you do it, and then that's that. And then even if you don't get a lead uh, in the musical, you'll be an ensemble or you can get a smaller speaking role. Um, and it's it's just an amazing community to be a part of because we treat each other like family, and you just you you got to talk to people in it because then you'll understand just how much we all like each other. I love that answer. And you can definitely feel the cohesiveness between all of you. Now, last but not least, what are you hoping the audience will get out of viewing the play? I'm hoping that they'll be immersed in the world and hopefully understand the story to like an impactful level. Because for us, we all are like, after spending the past three months on this, very familiar with the story and understand the characters and their motivations. And I hope that will come across to the audience and they'll be just immersed in this world that we've created. Oh, it definitely sounds so exciting and interesting, and you all are so well-spoken, so I imagine the play is just absolutely incredible. Now, tell us, where can we go for tickets, more information? How long is the play running? Absolutely. Uh, the, uh, the Crucible is November 9th, 10th, and 11th. That opens tomorrow, 7 p.m. at Battle Mountain High School's Auditorium in Edwards. Tickets are $10, and we are using a new system for ticketing at Battle Mountain this year, so they are only available at the door. Uh, we will have them on sale starting at 6 p.m. each night, and the doors open at 6.30 for the 7 p.m. show. Awesome. You have it here. We've got the cast of The Crucible at Battle Mountain High School, 9th, 10th, and 11th of November, and you can buy tickets at the door, $10. Very excited. Guys, thanks so much for coming. Best of luck to you. Break a leg. It's going to be an incredible performance. I can't wait. Thank, Thank you so much. Absolutely. Now, we are coming to the end of our show. We'll be right back after this.